All right. Shalom. Shalom tonight. Greetings, my brothers and sisters. First things first. Um, this is a reminder for I and I to watch and pray. And to watch and pray for our fellow brothers and sisters out there in the world. We're not all in the same situations, personal and, and um, interpersonal kind of situations, and um, many of our brothers and sisters are going through great tribulation. Um, and not to get into all the details, because tribulation is tribulation. But many of our brothers who are seeking to come out of Babylon and to and to come out of um, the various trouble that they are in need the resource of prayer. Both they need to pray and learn how to pray for themselves and also have to learn how to pray for one another. So we need to put matters into proper into proper um, context, into proper order. And um, when we're saying to pray for one another, I think the first thing we need to do is begin with what is prayer? Prayer is, is, is speaking to Jah. Is, is speaking to God, is speaking to our Creator, first of all, and our Father. Now, there's a big difference considering um, uh, relationship. What I mean by relationship, some view the Almighty as just the creator. He is the creator. And that is true. He is the creator. He is the blameless, our blameless creator. Some haven't gotten to that point of recognizing that Jah, Yah, Yahweh, Gizyabihar, Ab is our blameless creator. He's just our creator. So they're in a creator creature relationship. Those who have grown past that elementary stage of relationship recognize Jah, Yah, the God of our and Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christos, as our God and our Father, or as we say, our Godfather. That is a, a more mature level of, of relationship. But the only way we can come to that level of relationship is through our Lord and Savior, our black Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshiach, Getach Namet Hanatach Yesus Christos. I make that mention because there's a difference. And, and, and you have to recognize yourself. You have to really recognize yourself. You have to examine yourself, brothers and sisters. You really have to know thyself because you have to be in your proper person. Unfortunately, many of us, either now or at some previous point in time, we're not in our proper person in our proper mind and getting past the blame game you know because who's responsible ultimately we are ultimately we are responsible that does not excuse that there are evil doers and there are those who in one way or another have contributed but ultimately we are responsible. We can break that 
cycle, you know, break that bad habit and the bad habits that we are in. But we must become conscious. We must become awake. We must become aware. So, in beginning this video and in, and, and, and in continuing these teachings, this is why I wanted to begin off with prayer first, first and, 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 and foremostly. In examining ourselves and examining our ministry, we have touched on prayer. We have spoken on watching and praying. We've spoken on some of the so-called technicals of prayer, such as the language and, and, and certain words. And, and that's all important. But we want to break it down simply because from the information and the contacts that have been coming into I and I recently, and, and this is both some of the direct contacts that some have been able to make with I and I and with this ministry, as well as some of the more indirect through the, the contacts, through the, the emails, through the letter writing. And then in the majority of the 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 the, the information, the, the the contacts that have come through. I can't say that we have gone through every single contact ourselves personally, but many of them we have and many of them have been brought to our attention. And and sometimes it's so overwhelming, brothers and sisters, that the the only thing that we can do to even stay in our proper person, in our proper mind, is, is to pray. Because sometimes when you, when you hear and, 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 you, and, you, and you open up your, 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 your heart and your mind to really try to understand or understand what many are going through, sometimes it's, it's so difficult, I have to stop for a moment and ask, Abba Kedus, Kedus Abatach, and our Holy Father, the God and Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christos. Help me. How, what should I, how should I respond to this one? How should we respond to that one? So forth and so on. So the real key that really helps us to be more effective, and, and, and we hope and we pray that we are being more effective, is prayer. But prayer is ultimately built on faith. And with that faith, like what is faith? Faith is 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 is, is trust. It's connected with the idea of trust. Faith is connected with confidence. We have the word amen in the Hebrew, in the Ethiopic, in ancient Egypt. But what does the word mean? Ultimately, what the word means is admitting as truth. Now, what a lot of us don't recognize and realize is that we do have faith. We do exercise faith. However, often what we have done in ignorance or in not knowing or in not acknowledging what we know is we're having faith in the wrong things. For example, people may not think so, but they have faith in the present system of things, even though they know that it's corrupt, even though they know that it's wrong, even though they know that it is, it is, it is counter or is against, is contrary to the truth, is, is contrary to that which is right and exact. But people say, well, that's what's going on. It is what it is. So it is what it is means that, well, you have faith that it is what it is, and usually that it cannot change. That's what it is. So be it. So forth. I don't like it, but it is what it is. So you're saying to yourself, and you also are saying to the Almighty, and you're also saying to every other living, sentient creature and being, visible and invisible, is that I have faith 